Hi, I'm Dick Howard Jr. One of our goals on RichardHowe.com for 2009 is to branch out into new and different areas and we couldn't get more different than talking about food. And today I want to talk about pomegranate. I've never consumed one. I don't even know if I've ever noticed one before, but a friend gave us a custom-made fruit basket for Christmas and we got one. So after some research on Wikipedia, I think I'm ready to tackle the job. Uh, pomegranate is native to Persia, and it's a combination of two Latin words that mean apple and seeds. The first step is to cut off the bottom and the top of it. Now, the juice of the pomegranate is supposed to stain uh, immediately, and it can spray out. And that's why I've got my old clothes on and a paper towel protecting the cutting board. So after cutting through the top and the bottom, the next step is to score the outside of the pomegranate by just cutting through the skin. In four different places. Now the next step is to hold it under the water and to pull the peel apart. And the reason it, it's supposed to be held underwater is because the juices uh, will spray all over the place. So, and the inside of the pomegranate has a white flush and red seeds. You can already see them being displayed. I'm going to continue. So I've got most of the peel off and the seeds are the final or the ultimate objective. So I'm scraping them off of the, the flesh that's attached <coughs> to the, the peel that I removed. Now another reason for using the water is that the peel and the flush are light and they float and the seeds are heavier and they sink to the bottom. So this is the peeled pomegranate. I'm going to break it apart and knock the seeds out. I seem to have most of the seeds separated from the flesh. So now you can either use your hands or this strainer to scoop out the flesh. Take the colander and we pour everything into it. And these red seeds are the final objective, so that's what they look like. Now we'll have our first taste ever of uh, pomegranate seeds. They're not bad, they taste, um, they, they taste a little bit like cranberry, they have sort of a tartness, but um, they're very tasty. So thanks for joining us on our first food segment on richardhow.com. If you have any suggestions for other exotic things for us to explore in the kitchen, please, uh, please send us an email or leave a comment and let us know. Thanks a lot.